Why, hello there. It's -a me, Mario. Nope, just me, Arrow. Thought we might do a little slow tour today. Because I've been neglecting it a little. In favor of TOF. I mean, which I'll still play because we gotta get them drops done, but... We have to show the other games a little bit of love, too. I mean... To your I feel like I shouldn't be taking like Surprise, that. motherfucker! And make a last hello, Riru. And holy crap, hello, Will. And everybody. Thank you for the raid. Sleepy raid for a very, very sleepy person. My eyes are closing as I'm doing this. I just came to say hello. Thank you for the follow. Oh, did it? Okay. Well, I just didn't hear it. <laughs> thank you for the raid and thank you for the follow. If anybody decides to stay, um, my Sith Master sent me on a hunt to kill the two spies he planted in the Republic that were compromised, and now I am chasing after a very special Padawan that is, like, super Padawan. Like, the most Padawans of Padawaniest. Well, this specific Padawan is allegedly, like, so in tune with the Force that she is a threat to all of Sith kind as we know it. Oh my god, what the fuck? What you mean? Is it 3000? I thought it was 300. Holy shit. That's even more than I thought. See, there you go. Like, you know more than I do. And I'm the one that's playing it. Ah, okay. Yeah, that. What Will said, everybody. Ow, what the fuck? Are you for real? That was a knock back. Oh shit, 90s guy, what up? How you doing? God damn, everybody's in the house today. <laughs> Just smack, smack, smack. <clears throat> oh, I should probably maybe heal a little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Raging Cyclone. <laughs> I can't do it as well as said, but hi! I appreciate that you have decided to do so. Thank you, Cyclone. In this path, car, and placed us at odds. Your embrace of the dark side and service to Darth Barris determined our relationship long before this moment. That's because y'all are mad, brainwashed, again. and closed minded. We had a whole conversation about this last time about how they're two sides of the same fucking coin and both think that they're, they're right but are both kind of wrong and both do fucked up shit. But I'm not gonna get into it again. I ain't gonna say nothing that nobody already knows. Okay, back to the. Can I just. I just wanna click on this. What is it? Oh! I just destroyed it. Oh, it heals me! Oh, neat! That was fun. Okay, cool. Wait, what if I click on that? What does that do? It's like Dexter's lab. Ooh, what does this button do? Oh, it's a bonus mission. Oh, I never do those, but I guess I could now, maybe. If enough of them are across my path when I get out. I mean, yeah, some people, sometimes people just want to die. That other spy dude, the second one, like the first one, we just took away his memory because he was a kid. But the second one, he literally wanted to die. He was just like, no, no, I'm ready for this. I was like, okay. Stabby, stabby. Get out of my laboratory. 
I didn't even like that cartoon particularly, but the memes from it are spectacular. Omelette de fromage. Okie dokie, Will. Thank you for the lurk. I have a lurk command, by the way, if you want to do it. Just if you feel like it, just FYI. If anybody wants to lurk, I do have a lurk command. If you want to, like, announce that you're lurking, by all means. Feel free. I have an unlurk command also, which is a Lord of the Rings reference. So anybody that gets it, high fives to you. <laughs> but I, I said it with love because see, there's a heart. So like, it's not commanding. It's not Gremlin, how dare you? Hi Binda. Will, it is from Lord of the Rings. There is a point where Frodo, in the films, where Frodo, well, I mean, the books too, Frodo gets stabbed by one of, um, by a sword, like a very special sword that was going to turn him into a ring wraith. And he's taken, I almost said Rivendell. <laughs> he's taken to the elven place. Um, and they try to, like, bring him back. It's after that water scene. They try to bring him back to the light, and in Elvish, they're saying "Lasto Bethnin, Tolo which means "Hear my voice, come back to the light." So, the unlearned command is: person has heard my voice saying, "Come back to the light." Yeah, because we're all nerds here, and it's glorious. Seeing you return to the city, <laughs> I am proud of that, okay. Nerds are gonna Apprentice, run the world that someday. Now that Norman Carr realizes that we seek his Padawan, there's no time to waste. He Thank the you. On her home planet I tried to Valdemar, teach myself Elvish at one point. It didn't work out very well. So, if lurking is dissipating in the darkness, then unlurking is coming back to the light. That's, that's a lot of explanation for... <laughs> A very little command. Sorry. Base nature. We're all nerds but here. We must be it's cautious. good company. The danger she represents is extreme. As long as she lives, she is a threat. Or at least that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. should be left to masters. If there is even a sliver of doubt in your heart, it can backfire. Um. Okay, I mean, I can't say that I'm very dark side, so sure. I will be mindful, Master. I'm gonna just have yet to back face down from a that. Jedi Master. The righteousness and passionless demeanor is nauseating, and Noman Carr. Their is righteousness no is a bit nauseating. Master. Confronting him, you will find just because they're so well. I mean, so to say, that they're both so convinced of their own opinions. <laughs> It's literally like the fucking Catholics versus the Protestants, and it's just like, I'm right. No, I'm right. It's the same book. All right, I'm done. Most of the time, I'm more ignorant than stupid, I think, or naive. Yeah, right, MC. BT dubs, when I get 15 subs, I can upload another animated emoji. I'm a third of the way there. So I'll be able to upload the other hand because I have another hand for the quotation marks. I have a left one and a right one, but I could only upload one animated emoji at a time. So the second one will be the other hand. So yeah, I'll be able to do quotes properly. Thank you so much, Pinda. Well, shit, I wasn't fishing for subs, but I do appreciate that very much. Oh my fucking god, Will. Why? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You really didn't have to do that. I'm so embarrassed. What the fuck, guys? Damn! I'm so glad my camera's not on right now because I'm hiding my face in my hands, like literally. 
Holy shit. Thank you so much, MC. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be able to upload that emoji tomorrow. I'm not even sure what to say. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh crap, I think the notification sound's gonna be going off for a little while. <laughs> Well, shit. Yeah, you finally got me to shut up. This is stunned silence. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't think my channel would ever be, like, even monetized. Let alone have, like, one sub. Let alone have what just happened happened. So, I do appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. You guys have thrown me off my choo-choos. <laughs> uh... Okay, so on Halloween, yes. I have a Choose Your Own Adventure book. Holy shit, a hype train? Oh my god, I never had one before. Damn, guys. That's my first ever hype train. And it's all the way to level 4. Holy crap. Thank you so much. Why? <laughs> no! You didn't have to do that! Jesus Christ! What is happening? Oh my god. Thank you, Cyclone. Thank you, MC. Really, really glad my camera's not on today. My face is pretty red. I don't know how to react to things like this. I really don't. Jesus Christ. Okay. I feel like thank you is so not sufficient for something like that. Like you just say thank you and then keep playing like... I would throw you a parade of roses if it was physically possible. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna finish this thought. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, successful hype train, my first one ever, woohoo! I would be very easy to break. Anytime anybody would, like, sub or give bits, I'm shocked. And, well, what just happened now, I'm, it's beyond shock, it's just stun silence. No, it's it's not dark. It's honest. Like, my grandmother literally will fall sometimes. She's old. Old people will just lose their balance. Old people are basically toddlers that can speak complete sentences. And you can't tell them what to do. That is old people, in a nutshell. Especially once they reach a certain age or have dementia or whatnot. Like, they regress 100%. They have to wear diapers, they throw tantrums, they're picky eaters. But unlike a toddler, you can't just be like, well, if you don't want to wear those shoes, I'm just going to put them on you because you're a little kid. You can't do that with an adult. And, but you can't reason with them either. So it's just, it's a waking nightmare. <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. Thank you, Binda. I appreciate that. I'm not going to pretend that it's an easy thing to do. It's not. Being a full-time caregiver is one of the hardest things ever because you just kind of... You don't belong to yourself at all. Your entire life revolves around them. And your own life basically is put on hold to take care of them. But you got to do what you got to do. It's family. It's what you do for family. I can't really imagine not. Because it's like, well, it's my grandma. Who else is going to do it? It is. It's, it's literally exhausting. It's physically, emotionally draining. I haven't slept in in almost three and a half years. But it's like having a kid. A very, very large kid that will curse you out. So... But thank you, I appreciate the love and support. 
Lennox! Welcome in. Wait. I was like, who did I aggro? Which side was it? Oh god. Hi, Dread! And damn, it is like a party today. Everybody is coming to say hello today. I feel very loved and special. That's true, Dread is pretty wacky. But in a good way. Holy crap, he scared me. <laughs> I turned around and I wasn't expecting him there for some reason. I was like, ah! For the Empire. Dread is wacky, but they could keep it. I would say that everybody that all my followers that I know that I that actually speak to me are a little bit wacky, but in a good way. We're just a bunch of wacky, waving, arm flailing, inflatable tube men here. And women. Thank you, Dread. You're always very kind to me whenever you shout me out. Oh, speaking of which. Speaking of which. Ayo. By the way, whoever streams, do please tell me that you do so and I will shout you out. I'd be happy to do so. Don't feel like that you're, you know, asking for things or whatever. Like, don't feel awkward about it, is what I'm trying to say. Like, if you stream, just be like, hey, Anne, I'm a streamer too. And I'll be like, okay, shouting you out. Because the only reason I even got affiliate is due to the kindness of other streamers who shouted me out. I'm more than happy to pass along the support. I try to keep track of who streams, but I can't always remember. Jesus Christ, Dread! Oh, you didn't have to do that, but thank you. I don't know how to react anymore. I'm like... Just... Yeah. The front is upon us. This has been... One of the craziest streams I've ever done. No, I would say this has taken the cake. This is my craziest stream so far. In a good way. In a very good way. But holy shit. What Lennox said. Thank you. <laughs> Lennox remembers better than I do. About two weeks ago, yeah. Thank you. I didn't think I ever would get affiliate, but I sure as hell didn't think I'd get affiliate and then be attacked by subs and biddies. <laughs> Him, him. But I am very good. You are sick. Damn it, Lennox! You walk Stop the, the madness! The stench of the light in you will be like rot in their nostrils. Darth Barrows will smell it on you and will strike you down without mercy. Thank you. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. I club baby seals. It's my hot body. <laughs> Whoever gets that high five for you. <laughs> he has yet to notice anything. Do you really think he would tip his hand to you? See? That is where the light will truly fail you. The <laughs> oh light God, will blind I you was to the kidding. Ill from your fellows. Barris and the other Sith will have the advantage of deception and the power of the strongest. I never thought I would have to ask somebody to please passion, stop throwing rage, money at me. Love. Literally ever the light in my life. Shuns and denies these things. Okay, I get where Dread is coming from now. I'm like literally sitting here starting to feel bad. I'm like, please stop. Please save it for yourself. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, you're succeeding, my poor ADHD brain. <laughs> it's exploding a little bit. I'm just leaking gray matter out of my ears at this point. Oh my god. 
I'm gonna run out of followers. I really don't have that many followers to begin with and most of them are now subscribed. Hi Rotai! I'm so glad I have witnesses to this insanity. Because I don't think anybody would believe me if I told them. Yeah, my my uh, my sub badges are poops and my bit badges are toilet paper because I am a 12 year old. Oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna say thank you because thank you, but that's obviously extremely insufficient. I don't really know what to say. I'll figure out a way to show my gratitude when my brain starts working again. Oh, Jesus In the clarity Christ. of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Mush and porridge. Can you see it too? An encounter. You guys are the most kind-hearted trolls I've ever desert, met in my life. <laughs> like it's literally just like parts. positive trolling. We are going to force love on you, damn it! Take our support. Take it. Is this where I will find the Jedi Master Yornlock? There is no doubt this is where the Padme. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> this is where the Great Master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yornlock beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I don't think I have much of a choice otherwise, Cyclone. That's the one, Lennox. It comes in different colors? Oh, God. Why? Yeah, I, uh... That is, like, the creepiest fucking face. Oh, jeez. I think that makes it worse. <clears throat> it's so creepy. It makes me think of that movie, that that new horror movie, like horror. I have to enunciate that word, otherwise people think I'm saying horror. It makes me think of that new horror movie called Smile, the really really creepy one. Wow. So. Until I hovered over it and saw what it actually was, Binda, that looked to me like a frog simulating a blowjob. Like pretending that he was putting a cock in his mouth. That just goes to show you where my head's at. Yeah, that would be a more appropriate name for it, Cockfrog. Doesn't it though? Like, sorry. <laughs> I literally looked at it and then I was like, wait, no, that can't be right. And I hovered over it and I was just like, oh, it's a pot. But that's not what it looked like to me. <laughs> it's my bad. Probably just ruined it for everybody. Okay, you guys, thank you again so, so, so much for the subs and the bits and just for chatting and hanging out and talking to me. 
chatting to you guys is honestly the best part of the stream for me. So I really do appreciate your company. I hope I'll see y'all on Monday. Oh, enjoy the rest of your weekend since it's we still got Sunday to go. So I hope y'all have fun and stay safe. And I will see y'all next time. Good night.